I wanted to kind of recap the last video that I did and just talk um, make it a little do a summary of planning a funeral I kind of more talked about what we went through and all that and I'm still going to upload that one but I'm just going to real quick in case somebody is looking and needs this um, planning an unexpected funeral for the death of a loved one number one you need to pick a funeral home number two um, you will need to once you have that funeral home make any of the arrangements you have to in the case of, with Julian like I said he died out of state so um, a lot of the arranging getting his body here and the death certificates was all arranged between the two funeral homes the one where they had his body in North Dakota and the one that we were going to have bring his get his body here and do the funeral so <clears throat> the funeral home um, in most cases I believe will be in charge of giving you the death certificate a copy of the death certificate and they do charge for that um, so you need to make sure that you tell them how many copies you want I think it's kind of difficult in our area I know it is anyway to get a def death certificate after the fact and especially since Julian died in North Dakota um, the next thing is picking out a casket and picking out an outfit for your loved one to wear um, then there would be the actual funeral how you want things done do you want a service or do you just want do you want a service inside the funeral home in the chapel or do you just want a graveside service do you want um, where do you want to bury them you need to have arrangements for that you need to know that everything is a charge um, if you get limousine service you're going to be charged for that if you have a service inside the chapel you're going to be charged for that in most places uh, you know this could be different other places I'm just telling what I know from experience um, the grave digger is um, mostly is a separate service so you're going to be charged for that and you would not believe what they will charge to dig a hole in the ground it is really really ex expensive <laughs> that we had to pay cash for they would not take a down payment they would not um, even consider it until all the money was in hand uh, after you plant you need pallbearers you will need to pick out pallbearers to carry the casket out to the hearse if that's what you so wish to do uh, make your wishes known for the service if you have a service if you do not know the pastor or the person conducting the service talk to them way ahead of time if you can a day or two ahead of time at least not five minutes before the service because in my experience they don't listen um, make arrangements for somebody to drive you if you don't get limousine service if you can't afford it like we couldn't and we didn't want to pay for that anyway um, have someone drive you either in their vehicle or your vehicle do not drive while you're going through this because it you know you're just not capable I completely broke down at the graveside and if my brother had not been there to drive me I probably would have just crawled home but anyway um, you have the you need the plot if it's you know somewhere to lay them to rest uh, headstone is you can take your time with that we got Julian's headstone um, I don't even remember I think it was about five or six months ago and you have to consider the cost of that that's separate most funeral homes don't do that that you have to go to uh, I can't think of what you call it now but you know the place that makes a monument place um, and consider the cost of that all totaled I think that Julian's funeral cost nearly ten thousand dollars and it was a basic basic funeral it was not um, a big to do so <clears throat> you know it's it's expensive it's uh, really costly so you have to plan 
for all of those costs and remember that um, it's a business so don't take it personally when the funeral home director says we can't take a down payment for this we need cash for it or we'll take a down payment for that but you have to make the payments it's not because that person is deceased you are not responsible for the cost you absolutely are and um, talk to your loved ones about your wishes if you pass away suddenly um, you know it's just that's just see it, it Anyway, I just wanted to rehash that in a quick little short video so that it would be easier to deal with. If I've left anything out and I remember it, I'll put it down in the description down there. But um, that's it. Um, wish you all peace, love, and sunshine. And talk to you later.